And welcome, everybody, to Live on KEXP. I'm your host, Troy Nelson, here from listener-powered, independent 90.3 FM KEXP, broadcasting live in Seattle and streaming 24-7 at kexp.org and our free mobile apps. And these live performances are made possible by people like you. So thank you so much for supporting KEXP. Well, you can feel the sheer magnitude in the KEXP live room because I am here with one of my favorite bands and a band we've been loving here at KEXP for many, many years. And I'm gonna bring to you an exclusive live performance from Sheer Mag. And if you're ready, let's do this.
Awesome. You're listening to Sheer Mag live on KEXP.
Fantastic. Sheer mag, live on KEXP. Wow. Is that where it all started? Was it Fan the Flames? Was that the first single? No, what you want. Okay, the first yeah. song I ever heard was Fan the Flames. Mm -hmm. And I have the seven inch, the black and white seven inch, and I remember first hearing it, not knowing anything about the band. And I'm listening to this sound, I'm like, what is this? I was like, it sounds like if the Jackson 5 were a garage band or something. It's just uh, such a fantastic song. One of my favorite songs from the last 10 years. I've, always, I've thought, because we always get the Jackson 5 on that. And I think it's just because like, we sped up the tape so Tina's voice sounds like young Michael <laughs> Jackson. Yeah. Like, if you heard the actual original version of it, that song, we recorded it so much slower. And then we were like, what are we doing? And we sped the tape machine up a bunch after Tina recorded. So her voice has that sort of young Michael Jackson, like really wow. high pitch. Also, obviously, the like, the, 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 the high part that he me. plays. And the, yeah. yeah, yeah, has that sort of Jackson yeah, fiveness yeah, yeah. to it. But fan the flames, love it. Here I am in the KEXP live room. Not only one of my favorite bands, but one of my favorite vocalists of our generation. Tina, your melodies and voice is everything to my DNA as a music lover, and this band encapsulates a sound that I grew up with that I don't think anyone in the last 30 years has been able to capture. So thank you all for your music and being here today. And I have a sister that is seven years older than me, so at an early age I was introduced to bands like Rat or Shout at the Devil era, Motley Crue, and these 80s metal bands that really stood out to me. And uh, Tina, you grew up in rural Long Island and would uh, get involved in driving on golf courses and destroying them, which is breaking the law, breaking That's the true. law. And I saw <laughs> that you wish that you all wrote the Judas Priest song, Breaking the Law, <laughs> which is why I wore this shirt today. What is it about that song that resonates with you so much in Sheer Mag? You know, when you're a young rocker, that speaks to you being a little dumbass and, oh, I, I can't keep Kurt. I always just You can cuss. say that. I can say dumbass? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> And just, you know, rebelling against whatever, like, thing you don't like. And mm -hmm. in, in my case, it was millions of golf courses surrounding me. <laughs> me. And just taking a golf cart on him. And, yeah. and well, not a golf cart. We didn't get one of those. It was just a regular car. Oh, just a, oh, just a car, driving a car <laughs> and a golf cart. Yeah, Do no you think I could still be convicted after all these years? <laughs> I think you're off the hook. All right. Uh, yeah, statute uh, of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tina, growing up, uh, you, would ha you have a very wide musical taste. You, growing up, would have cassette tapes of artists like TLC, the Notorious B.I.G. and Green Day. And then later in your life, it was more sophisticated music like Otis Redding and Sam Cooke. And so even though the music of Sheer Mag is more aggressive, would you say that soul music is where you really learned how to sing and fall in love with singing? Yeah, I mean, it's still the music that I can sing the easiest, I feel like. And yeah, that's really what... I was always trying to get into bands, but once I heard Sam Cooke, I was just like... I just forced my way in there. I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get much better than Sam Cooke, that's for sure. You also have a love for Steely Dan, I was surprised to see. I do. I love that. Yeah. I think that's like the quintessential when you go to college band and then you just listen to Steely Dan for like, <laughs> for very, like very, get very into Steely Dan. That's a, the rite of passage. Yeah. Maybe it's just our college. You've played some uh, awesome shows, been on uh, these major tours, traveled all over, uh, festivals. I'm curious what it was like a few years ago when you all got to play with the band Power Trip. What was that like? Oh, it was incredible. Yeah. It was yeah, I mean, we're just forever super grateful they asked us to go on that tour, to be the, the one pop rock band on a, you know, what was it four band? Yeah, it was four cool band hardcore there, metal build. Like, as they were kind of exploding mm -hmm. and to see their like like rapid they're like rise to power um it was really inspiring and riley was an amazing front person and sort of like i don't know it was like it was so inspiring to see how he could just have the audience in the palm of his hands and just like make them go i think crazy he was blasting night. uh sam cook like right before the sets oh yeah i think that's what he was listening to yeah 
Yeah, I'm always curious because you do get asked to play with a lot of like heavy bands or metal bands, and there's a metal element to Sheer Mag, but I don't know if you would consider yourselves a metal band. I'm always curious what a metal audience, let's say you're opening up for some huge metal band, I, I, I feel like they would, yeah, I'm, I'm curious what their reaction is. It's kind of half and half. <laughs> yeah, I like to think that we're, we're like a pop rock band for punks and metal heads and people that like more extreme music, and generally that proves to be true. Yeah. Some, some metal crowds are much more... Uh, you know, like they don't move them. Like there were times on the Power Trip tour where Matt and I would talk about after the set, we're like, nobody was moving for us, but I saw this, I got this one guy by the end of the set and I can see his finger moving. <laughs> yeah. So like we won. Like if I can just get one guy to move his finger. See, I, I'm yeah. the perfect demographic for you because I, I did grow up listening to metal music and love yeah. metal. Uh, and I hear those elements in your music and that's what excites me. Whereas I could see somebody that's just strictly a metal head, they might be like, it's not metal enough. Sure, we get plenty of that. It's not yeah. pure metal. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. But, you know. I yeah. feel like if you're into Can't like a new all. wave of British heavy metal, you would be into us. Yeah. But if you just like, if you're more like into thrash or like I, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's a harder sell. Yeah, if somebody's just, a, like, their favorite band's Cannibal Corpse, you know. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Surprisingly, though, some of those have have uh, become massive mag fans, too. Mm -hmm. It's like it really kind of just is, it feels random. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just, like, it's, it just clicks for some people sometimes. I'm going to say some people get it, yeah. and, and that's me. I'm one of those people, <laughs> and, and lots of people Hell yeah. get it. And uh, Tina, I'm curious, uh, I was talking about my sibling. Did your brother Johnny have any influence on you <laughs> musically, or were you the one discovering new music or, and showing him, or was it mutual? I think it traded off. Yeah. But he's definitely, he definitely showed me a lot of British heavy metal, which... I ended up loving a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he was like, you know, I was just like an emo kid, and he was like punk with his, you know, mohawk, this high, you know, with the gelatin and going to like crazy Long Island punk shows and like two hours away and throwing rocks at bigger rocks and being a kind of a psycho. <laughs> Is he still a punk rocker? He's, he's He likes metal more now, yeah. and he's got a kid. Yeah. Shout out Angus. Angus. Awesome. And I know you've all been in um, several bands growing up, and I was curious who in this room right here in Sheer Mag would win the award for most humorous band name of a band that you were once in? I got Showdown at the Pier. That was one of them. Uh, John or Party of Five. Uh, wow. Oh, The Secret Life of Owls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. Yeah. Uh, Donner Party of No five. contest. Can anyone beat that? Absolutely not. Yeah, no, <laughs> what I else don't you think got? so. <laughs> I had a high school band. jam band called Lazy Susan. That yeah? was about like the thing on the table that spins around. Yeah. But that's not funny. Those yeah. are. That's a pretty good name, actually. I had a band called Sam and the Hams, and we just learned four covers right before every show. We got asked like an hour before. Sam and the Ham. I think Hart Sam still wins, though. All right. He takes it. <laughs> winner, winner. Uh, Phil, Philly has a, obviously a great music scene, lots of great bands like yourselves. But can you tell the folks that might not be familiar about the band The Ire? Yeah, The Ire is a, is a goth band from Philly that um, I think, I mean, Hart recorded yeah, that. I, I recorded their uh, first record, and my... My fiance used to play drums in it. She left uh, earlier or last year, I yeah. guess. I think they like. And just then they broke up. Broke up. Yeah. I think they just played their last show. But yeah, they were a great, great band. goth band from I Philly. I think um, three of them are starting another band right now. Couldn't tell you the name, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty new. I don't know. Yeah, you introduced me to the IR. I'd never heard of them until I heard you mention them. So yeah. Well, they're cool. gonna be stoked after this when we yeah. tell them. The is an amazing vocalist. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you all seem like you'd be a super fun band to hang out with, and uh, I would love to join you if you sometimes still have fires down by the Schugel. Do you still do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bartram's Garden uh, fire parties, sure, yeah. I think there was one, there was a show there this past weekend. We couldn't make it because we were on tour, but <laughs> sort of a tradition that the whole, like, the whole Philly scene goes and has like these fires down by the, down in like the park. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, yeah. there's like a skate park there that they used to have midnight or late night shows in, but then uh, there were a few incidents where like the sprinklers went off and ruined everybody's gear. So I'm not <laughs> sure if not sure if that's still a thing anymore. I haven't heard of one in a minute, but absolutely, come on down. We'll, we'll set Thank one up. Thank you. Thank you. And, and am I pronouncing it? Can anyone outside of Philly know how to? Do they know how to pronounce? Is it Schuylkill? Yeah. Schuylkill. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it. it's spelling. It doesn't look anything really like it. it well, sounds. Evan's the only one actually from the Philly area. So you. How do you say it? Schuylkill? Yeah. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for bringing these sounds to the KEXP live room and all the years of fantastic music and the new album playing favorites. Uh, just love it here at KEXP and everything that you've done. So once again, thank you so much for taking the time and creating all this wonderful music. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. yeah thanks for yeah, having us. coming here. Absolutely. Doors always open, trust me. You've been listening to Sheer Mag live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.